today's big number. Punjab National Bank, really, that's what it was all about. Now, the bank has managed to beat street estimates in the first quarter on the profitability front and, of course, on the net interest income front. But what was also heartening was that asset quality was showing at least some signs of improvement. If not improvement, at least there was no marked deterioration this time around. And that's something that the market was trying to take heart from. We have Lata Venkates recoding the numbers for us. Lata. PND should be counted as a good set of numbers. Uh, uh, let me start with the profit, though. That's not the most important number. 306 crore against our expectations of 9 crore, street expectations of 9 crore. And last quarter's 5,300 crore loss. So compared to that, this is good. Likewise, net interest income also is at 3,700 crore, better than the year ago number of about 2,700 crore. The most important number, however, is the GNPA. And optically, it may look bad because it is 13.75, a very ugly number per se, and higher than the 12.9 in the previous quarter. But why it's not so bad? Two reasons. One, the total balance sheet has shrunk, which is why the NPA size looks big. But more importantly, the actual amount of loans that have slipped into NPA, what you call slippages, has fallen to 7,500 crore in the current quarter compared to 23,500 crore in Q4 of last year, that is in the previous quarter. So clearly, the decay in the system has, is declining. And the other very strong point is recoveries. Recovering uh, money back from defaulters took, uh, 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 reached a level of 6,006 crore. Very impressive. The bank had promised that it will do 15 to 20,000 crore in terms of recoveries this year. One thought it was an ambitious number, but with 6,006 crores in just one quarter, that looks eminently achievable. And this itself may uh, probably win a bit of a re-rating for Punjab National Bank. Q1 for, uh, for the banks, especially public sector banks, is a lean quarter. Uh, you know, uh, nothing great happens in this quarter. But uh, given the, uh, you know, way forward with the festive season setting in, you know, a lot of money coming through the seventh pay commission release, a lot of things happen, going to happen. I think uh, the pickup should be there. And then uh, maybe I'm targeting a growth of about 11%.